Today we're going to be talking about the cross price elasticity of demand, which is defined as the percent change in quantity demanded of one good divided by the percent change in the price of another good. So what does this mean? It means that companies that produce a product will be able to tell whether their product is a complement or a substitute with another company's products. To help explain this, um, we're going to be looking at the percent change in peanut butter and how this relates to the change in quantity of jelly. So I'm going to give us a sample problem here to help explain what I'm talking about. Um, suppose the price of peanut butter rose by $30 and as a result the quantity of jelly decreased by $6. What is the price of elasticity of demand and does this make peanut butter and jelly complements or substitutes? So we see here that price rose by $30 and that quantity fell by $6. So first we need to um, know um, the cross price elasticity of demand equation which is percent change in quantity demanded divided by percent change in price and then again we need to remember um, that we're looking for whether it's a complement or a substitute so here are the parts of the equation percent change in price and then percent change in quantity demanded um, in order to find those we have to go back to what we learned a long time ago the percent change which is new minus old divided by old. Um, if we plug those in we get this uh, 40 minus 10 divided by 10 and 12 minus 18 divided by 18. Those again are coming from here and here which gives us on this side, the, the price side, 300 percent and then on the quantity demanded side it's minus 33.3 and both of these equation answers feed down into this equation here which is uh, equals negative 1.11 so what does this negative 1.11 mean um, this negative 1.11 um, when we put it on a graph a, a linear graph like this we can see that it is below zero um, to tell if a product is a complement or a substitute um, you have to know that uh, products that are below zero are complements and products that are above zero are substitutes. So this means that when you're comparing two different products, um, when you compare them, if the cross price elasticity of demand is a negative number, then they are complements, and if it is a positive number, then they are substitutes. Um, I hope this explained cross price elasticity of demand clear enough. Have a great day.